It's amazing to me when you think about the last 30 to 40 years and what's happened with real estate, what's happened within the stock market. There's always been ups and downs, but the baby boomer generation has the highest level of net worth and home ownership than we've ever seen. And so one of the interesting things for me is what are they doing with it? What are ba the baby boomer generation or those just before, what are you guys doing with all of this net worth? And especially in an environment right now where it's like, where do I put my money? What do I invest in? How do I maybe help the next generation? There was a really interesting book that I read. It's called Die With Zero. And it mm. talks about this idea of, you know, most kids inherit money when they're 65. Yeah. They've blew, blown through 30 to 40 years. They've had to build their own life. And of course there's merit to young people yes. having to earn their own way and you never want to make it too easy on them. But the question becomes, what, what are you doing with your net worth that maybe can benefit your children today or their kids today? And what are they doing with it? And so I just found that to be really interesting. And so it is. What, that, what that's a good thoughts? point because I think that the baby boomer generation, a lot of my parents were immigrants. So my family had to build that wealth on their own. So I think there's a little bit of that mindset. Like I want them to make their own way. We had to make our own way. But right now, you know, we've seen such increases in the stock market and in the housing market. And as, a, as I'm like at the end of the baby boomer era, but I want to be able to give my kids what I can right now while I'm alive and enjoy that with them and not necessarily just leave them a little pile of money at the end when they're 65 and, and now what are they going to do with it? To me, it's not about leaving a legacy, but I want to build a life with my children and my adult children right now. Yeah, and that's really cool. And I, and I think that's where, it, when we look at it, we say, okay, so we know that for a lot of millennials or a lot of young people that are coming in, we know that there's a benefit to owning homes. But we also know that affordability is a real thing. Yes. Affordability is sometimes difficult. And when people are just starting out, I look back to when I first mm -hmm. got my house, I didn't, I had to have help. Right, it wasn't yeah, just like too. super easy to just do. So whether it was a gift from a family mm -hmm. member or whether somebody helped co-sign, like it helped me get to that next level. And it wasn't because I hadn't earned it. I was responsible, I did the right things. I right. took care of the mortgage, I made the payments. So I did all those little things, but I still needed help. And now you fast forward to my third or fourth house that I own, I wouldn't have gotten there without that. And so I'm super grateful for that. And I just think right now that's where we've got to look at affordability and we have to look at those things as baby boomers or as adult parents that have adult children going, what can we do to help them? And I think one of those ways would be, maybe you could help them buy real estate. Maybe you could invest with them or become a partner uh, in all of that. So are you seeing any of your clients like take an interest in that? What are they um, doing I'm, with it? I'm not, and but when I speak to buyers, I am encouraging them to go to their parents. Okay. And I just recently helped my daughter buy a condo. Um, and it was better than her renting, right? Yes. I don't want her living in an apartment complex or paying somebody else's mortgage. We can all benefit. And I get to see the joy of her taking care of this house and, and making it her own. I mean, those are things that I think are priceless as parents. Absolutely. And we also know that the baby boomers probably have the most amount of equity in their homes than anyone else right now. Yeah. If they've lived there for 10, 20 years, I mean, this, that's a lot of money. And I, I would say almost to them too, like you might want to be super intelligent. Like you could, again, idea, you could borrow 125,000 on a cash out refinance, help them buy another piece of real estate and leverage that in for, for future net worth, right? Like we yes. can't think so myopic sometimes we're just short term, short term, short term. What am I doing now? Right now in the current market that we're at, everything that we're doing is about building business and where are we going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years from now. Right. And I think for, for us and kind of talking with all of our client base, that's a huge thing for help helping them see how they can take what they have now. And then 10 years fast forward, go, wow, like, this house that we bought is now worth X and we've helped our ch our child to build net worth and now they can sell it, repay us if, the, if need be and still have money for their next one and we've given them that security and that safety. Yes, because we know stuff. it's not going to get any better and if people are sitting there thinking well, we'll wait a couple of years and things will improve, it's just not going to be It's not. We don't think it because we don't think it's going to be more affordable next year, right? No. Not and I bought my first home in 1988. I got my in-laws gave us $10,000 to See? help us with the closing costs. Yeah. I mean, $10,000 in 88 was probably a lot of money. That was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. But that went away. Now, you know, three, four houses later. Yep. 
and you guys are doing well. Yeah. Like crushing it. So I just think for us, three things, right? If you've got the any ability to maybe help look at your kids or buy some more real estate, I would definitely cons consider it for not the short term necessarily, but in no, the long term, right. right? And I would look at other opportunities too. Maybe there's people that you could partner with. Maybe there's other people that you can go into investments with where you can buy real estate. But I think for us, the most important thing is we wanna help young people own real estate because yes. we don't want the next generation to be left, right? And they get all this, inherit this net worth, they don't know what to do with it. So let's help them create assets that are building even more net worth in the future. And I think yep. that's huge. That will be huge, yep. yes. Super. If you guys need anything from us, give us a call. We're always here to help you. Eric and Elise, talk to you soon.